Probably the biggest buff in the recent balance patch was to Serpent Wig. Used to give plus one, plus one. Now it gives plus one, plus two. Which on its own is pretty significant. But it's even more significant when you consider combining this with something like Bless. That cares how much health your minion has. And it also means that this deck can now play turn two Murkwater Scribe plus Serpent Wig to make a 4-4. Which is a very powerful turn two. This deck has a lot of potential for big combos with something like Priestess Valish. We've got Bran and Zola to double up on the Valish. We can make really big Queen's Guards because of that. I added in Lyra since we were already playing Radiant Elementals. But most of the time your win comes from sticking something like a Vicious Slither Spear, throwing like six Serpent Wigs on it, and then maybe you bless it at some point. Much more of a tempo deck than a combo deck, generally, I would say. This is an insane hand. There's no way I keep Bless, right? Slither Spear into Serpent Wig is very good, though. This hand is nutty. I'm not actually sure what I do on turn two. I could go Scribe plus Wig. But I could go Wig and then use Scribe to make another Wig. It's a little slower, but more Wig value. Let's go Wig value. I don't think I'll regret this. There's no way Paladin can deal with this thing if I just keep buffing it over and over again. Mancrick is nice, but I've got some other things going on. Is Zola good? Treasure Guard's probably better. Treasure Guard Wig. Or I could go for Slither Spear, Wig, Murkwater Scribe Wig. It's kind of nice. My blood for war. I just want to stack everything into one minion, because I have Bless. Might just straight up bless next turn. Have a 12-12. Or what does this say? This is after, so a 13-12 for the turn. That's a very strong Divine Shield minion. Do I have lethal here if they do nothing else? I wig this up to 12, bless it up to 15. Easy. How the heck do I mulligan with the stack? I want Serpent Wig. I want Slither Spear. I definitely don't keep these two. Maybe I keep Radiant Elemental, but probably not. Or maybe I just stick it on turn two and it makes all my wigs cheap. But I probably just really want to find wig, right? Alright, there's my wig. Cool, I can activate my wig. I guess I go Treasure Guard on three and then Mancrick Wig on four. And then we can Crush Claw Enforce on five.
Man Crick Wig. And then I can go Crush Claw Wig. I'm not sure what my third spell for Handmaiden is. I do have Bless and Valish. Maybe I'm just like not that far from lethal. If they clear me though, I'm pretty far. So I can thrive for another wig. That's probably what I want to do, right? Let's go ahead and see what I can crush claw into. Amalgam? If I wig here, I have seven cards in hand, drop to eight. I can thrive handmaiden, and then I'd be at ten. I could also just use a Shadow or Devour with my wig here. Foulness is a bit of a threat. I don't really think I'm going to get a ton off Devour. Activates my Handmaiden. I think that's the play. Four seven's pretty hard for Warlock to kill, I think. Less hard if they play that card. But that's okay. My Handmaiden's active. Oh, and another wig. Absolutely beautiful. Is this just Slither Spear double wig? What exactly can I do if something six? Go like Amalgam, Double Wig, uh, Queen's Guard, Wig, Valish, Double Wig, and then Bless. I don't know, that's a lot of wigs. This might just be lethal, but I'm not sure. There's no way it's lethal if my opponent's at 30. This Wig Wig is 3. Four, five, wig, wig, valish, wig, wig. Maybe it doesn't have to be lethal. Is this Naga Giant getting cheap? It is not. Maybe this isn't great. I am going into Coin Gigafin, or maybe even Twisting Nether. Are you gonna clean that up? Well, that's not good enough on its own. Oh, man, Crick. Oh, this actually just has this much attack. I was waiting for it to reset. Well, this should be lethal. Very nice. Feel like I'm supposed to hard mulligan for the wig. Even handmaiden is not safe. But if I can end up with a wig and handmaiden, that's a different story. Do I just coin this thing on turn one? One mana three four? It's kind of nasty, right? And then maybe I just wig it. Well, it's a little bit of mana, but then I can go amalgam wig the following turn. And that's three spells for handmaiden.
These are all insane. I think Handmaiden is the most insane. But I definitely wouldn't swear to that being true. Is this just going face? I don't know. I like fighting for the board. I don't really know how much it matters there. Okay, that's pretty tough. So, Okani just dies here. Probably not the play. Start with Handmaiden. Shadow Word Devour would kill these and give this 5 health. It's kind of a decent Shadow Word Devour. Options for next turn include Okani plus Serpent Wig, make it a 3-8. That's kind of a problem. But they're not killing my 3-5 here. I can make this really big. Radiant Elemental, Wig, Treasure Guard, Double Wig. I think I want the last two wigs to go on Treasure Guard so it's big enough to contest these. I guess first wig just goes here and I value trade. Wow, that's a nasty hex. Oh man. What a hex. But this could be like Okani, Shadow Word Devour. Or I guess it could be Handmaiden, Devour. And then like Double Wig even. Okani's so sick on this board though. I guess I can Murkwater Scribe as well. I'm not actually sure what I want to counter here. This thing's gonna have 8 health. So, even like a wild pod null, I'm not super concerned about. I guess I'll counter a spell. Oh, this is actually going to have 9 health because I do have to scribe first if I want to play it. Still good though. Good old Bloodfin Raptor. Oh, we do love a bless. So I can make this have 15, 15. Oh no, I can make it bigger than that. I can make it 19, 19. What does Thrive do? I actually just have very few spells in deck at the moment. I think I'm just going to play Handmaiden here. Is it time to bless? It's either bless, go face, or value trade, double slither spear. The slither spears are so good at resetting the wigs, though. I don't know. YOLO. It seems hard to kill this in general, but they also have to get through a counter spell to do it. I have no clue what this does. Oh, hex. That's a bit rough. That is a bit rough. I'll just make another big minion here in this Slither Spear, I guess. They can only have so many pieces of removal, right?
Well, they don't have enough mana for another Hex. Alright, easy lethal. It's actually just so much damage. Nice. 